Hey, cool people out there. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? I'm gonna make it as authentic as possible today for the very first time. So let's take a risk and let's get started on that Cuban sandwich. Hope you guys enjoy this. Here we go. Now, really nice people, you know we always gotta have those great ingredients and you know, cause I learned from my friend Joe, oh, I'm a poet and did I know it. Ow! That you always have to have the correct ingredients and a Cuban sandwich is supposed to be authentic but it's a pretty simple sandwich. You just have to do it right. So here's our ingredients. That's roast pork, which I got from my local deli. I'm gonna chop that up um, and use the seasonings. I'll go to the seasoning. There's our frag out flavor. You guys know I love that. There's the salty sergeant, regular yellow mustard. And I've got some of these wonderful claws and pickles. These are the sandwich slices, bread and butter pickles, regular ham. In Cuba, I do believe they use actually boiled ham. Oh, here's our Swiss cheese. Mmm, I love Swiss. And then I've got the bread. And don't be getting on my case because I didn't have authentic Cuban bread. It doesn't grow around this area, so to speak. You've got to be in that area below that certain line around the Tampa area, down in the Caribbean and stuff. But we shall do it correctly and get started. And as you can see, the Cuban sandwich demands to be put on a griddle. And we have the Ninja foodie smart xl pro grill and griddle going to show you guys how i actually set it up and you guys have seen my how-to video on this on this deal first the grill plate actually goes in down just like that not a problem but on top of that and um, i want you guys to watch my uh review and unboxing video of this sucker and i'll show you all this in detail but here is your griddle plate your barbecue griddle plate and it has the interlocking right there look how it doesn't move and I'll repeat it once again, you do get the edge to edge cooking, which we're going to need on this. And that's all there is to it, kids. Let's close that thing up and start our preheating process. And once again, I'll go through this process. Right there's my thumb, watch this, it's plugged in, it's turned on. And we're gonna do our function right over here, barbecue griddle. See how that works? And that's all you've got to do right there, folks. And you can adjust that temperature if you need it. You press this temperature button right here, See how you can go down, down, down. I'm gonna put it on about 350. And of course, when I preheat, just like that. And of course, you saw the time, 30 minutes. There's no need for that. It will preheat to that temperature in about five, sometimes 10 minutes. And let's start prepping our meat over here. Here we go. That sound and that graphic is like music to my ears. Oh yeah, the griddle is hot. Let's add some stuff on it. Okay, nice folks, I've got a handful of pork right here. Let's listen to it sizzle. I love when it sizzles. There we go. And how about that ham? Now my ham is actually gonna go on here in these strips, just like that. And I had them cut pretty thin, doesn't bother me. And we can do one of those at a time, we can flip it. And I've got my cool little tongs here and I'm gonna put the pork right there in the middle because after it was roasted for me, it went kind of cold. I kept it in the fridge on purpose. So what do you say we put a little bit of that frag out flavor on there? A little bit of seasoning for it. Now, like I was saying earlier, that is our salty sergeant, veteran owned, veteran operated. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? And as you can see, I've turned to this one because I'm giving you guys a demonstration of the Ninja right here. Edge to edge cooking. You can go up to uh, 500 degrees, but we're only on 350 right now because we're just heating our meat through. And I've got these turned a little bit. And as you can see, I chopped those up just a touch because um, that's the way it's done in Cuba. Cuba, it's actually, uh, Joe, help me out here. My friend Joe is watching and critiquing me right now. I think it's a little more shredded, which is also fine with me. Okay, this one's done. So, oh, that looks great. So it's gonna come off. How about we flip that one here? Yeah. And another one goes right here. Again, edge to edge heat. Wow, wow. As you guys can see, I'm not actually going to cook the ham very long. There's just no reason to because we are gonna put it on the press. As you guys remember how you do your authentic Cuban, Sammy, just like that. Our pork is heating up very, very well. Boy, this thing is really performing. I can't recommend the, you know, the Ninja XL Pro Grill and Griddle any higher, guys. It is just wonderful. 
There you go. Now guys, we have uh, finished our cooking process. We're actually warming that meat through, getting it a little bit crispy and heated up. So as you can see, the countdown is on, on the griddle. And when I'm finished, hey, all you gotta do is push a button. End, that's all you gotta do. Right there's your on off button, goodbye. Let's start to prep that sandwich, here we go. All right, we've got, as you can see, our cool bread laid out here. I split it in half because I am literally a terrible uh, bread slicer. So I got it just a touch of the regular yellow mayonnaise. You don't need a lot, guys. And you can smear that on there if you want to. Um, some people I know in the Tampa area where they make these put mayonnaise, even though that's not traditional. So let's start dressing it up. Here comes your pork. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Hey, by the way, as I'm doing this, you know, I got people down there in that area. Not only is my friend Joe from that area, whose family came from Cuba, but I know lots of people in the Tampa area. There's Nikki and David and my gorgeous little twin nieces down there. They're not far from Tampa. And of course, the amazing, alluring, and gorgeous Crystal, who lives in Brandon. I hope she's watching. God, I hope she remembers me. I know I remember her. But anyway, yes, I'm not fooling around with the ham. The ham goes right there. And next is gonna go our pickles. After I get <laughs> one more piece of pork. Now the traditional way with your pickles are these larger ones, like I was showing you guys earlier. And I don't use a huge amount. I'm gonna only put about four on here. And as you can see, I like those. So, guess what folks? Your sandwich is completed. Now, we're gonna cover that sucker up. It's going back on that griddle. Here comes the fun part. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's the Swiss cheese? You thought I was gonna leave it off, didn't you? <laughs> you people are out of your mind. Yeah, right. How about some Swiss for you? Are we truly done now? Better believe we're truly done now. Here we go. See what that says, look at that, add food. Why don't we just raise that right up? The griddle is ready. Let's throw a Cuban sandwich on there. Here it comes. To all of you, our Cuban sandwich, which goes right there. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And I'm gonna show you guys something. As you know, the Cuban is not done until it's pressed down. Now, I don't have um, one of those things with a handle that you press down, nor do I have a panini press, which reminds me, by the way, Daniela Panini. I remember her. So if anybody's watching from uh, Dripping Springs, Texas or the Bay Area, say hello for me. But what I do have is a giant rock wrapped in aluminum foil. By the way, that does remind me of Daniela Panini, by the way. Oh, there's our joke of the day. Anyway, I'm gonna put it right there and smash it. Now this is gonna sit on our griddle until that cheese melts. Might take a while, but that sucker's on 350, and that's how it works. <laughs> what do you guys think? Looking good? Let's shut that ninja off. There we go, I'm gonna remove my giant rock as if we have pressed down. Hey, it did all right. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Especially my friends who have done this for years and years. Don't you be afraid to criticize me. I need that advice, but I think we've turned out well. Here we go. Well, I do believe we pressed it down pretty darn good. And I'm gonna show you guys how we mostly slice. It's gonna be this direction, not straight across, okay? So here we go down. Mm. All the way through everything. Just like that, bread has toasted. Let's see if I can split it for you. Does that look okay? Come on now. Pork ham, the pickles, the mustard, the Swiss. I think we may have done okay. I think we may have something wonderful here. Hey, sandwich cubanos. All right. We do have a beautiful Cuban sandwich finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you will like and subscribe. And hey, if you're down there in that area of Florida, Please try one of these things. They are a tradition and they are wonderful. Gonna see you guys right here next time. Top Jimmy Cooks. Oh man. And don't forget, national champions. See you next time right here. <laughs>